Engineering Physics Lab Experiment number 1 Series and Parallel LCR Circuit The aim of the experiment is to study the frequency response of series and parallel resonance circuits and hence to determine the resonance frequency unknown in the true value and the quality factor of the given circuit. Apparatus required the audio frequency oscillator and the circuit board which has all the electronic components like inductor, capacitor and resistor etc. The circuit connection and the conduction we have the functional generator and the circuit board connect from source of the frequency oscillator to the circuit board source and we have the milliameter, negative terminal of the milliameter to the negative terminal and positive to positive. We have the inductor, connect from inductor to the inductor. We have two inductor L1 and L2. You can use any one. We have the capacitor, connect from capacitor to capacitor. We have three values. I will be using 0 0.01 microfarad. We have the resistor, connect from resistor to the resistor, I will be using 1 kilo ohms resistor. And this is end to end connection, so it is series LCR circuit. We have to make some initial arrangements. Since I will be taking readings from 1 kilo hertz to the 10 kilo hertz, press the knob of 1k and keep the amplitude to be maximum. Since it is AC source, press the knob of sinusoidal wave and keep the knob uh, to 20 volt. Now switch on the circuit, both the circuits. Keep the frequency to be 1 kilohertz and note down the respective value of the current. For series LCR circuit, it is 0.33. Similarly, keep the frequency to be 2 kilohertz and take the value of series resonance and switch off the circuit for parallel connect the capacitor across inductor and the resistor and short the capacitor terminals similarly repeat the same thing switch on both the circuits keep the frequency and make it minimum again and keep the frequency uh, to 1 kilohertz and take the reading of parallel LCR circuit current in milliamps 3.22 and repeat for 2 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. Tabular column. So we have frequency to a series current as well as parallel current. We have to take reading from 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. This is one of the model graph which we have already taken the uh, readings. Coming to calculation, we have to calculate three parameters. One is the inductor, the bandwidth and the quality factor of the given circuit. If you look at this formula, your inductor value, I know what it, the one is constant, 4 is constant, pi is 3.142 and C is a given value, it is capacitor value 0.01 microfarad or 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 6 farad. Here the frequency is unknown or the resonance frequency is unknown. To calculate this resonance frequency, I have to plot the graph. Frequency in kilohertz versus current in milliamps. Frequency in x-axis and current in y-axis. So suppose if you plot the graph, you will get curve something like this. Your frequency take the scale 1 kilohertz whereas current in uh, 0.5 milliamps. And uh, from the peak value of this frequency curve, draw a vertical line such that it should cut on the x-axis. You will get the frequency in kilohertz. It is k. Whatever the frequency value you will get, you have to multiply it with 10 power 3. And the same point, draw horizontal line such that it should cut the y-axis current value and call it as maximum current. You have to take maximum current divided by root 2 and you will get the IRMS value. 
from the LMS value, draw a horizontal line such that it should cut the frequency curve at two positions. Draw a vertical line from that and call it as F1 and F2. Difference between F1 and F2 or F2 and F1, you will get the bandwidth. Now, the frequency I know, the resident frequency and bandwidth I will get from the equation 2 and multiply so that you will get the qualitative factor value. This is one of the model graph which we have already plotted. Calculation for the parallel circuit, do the same uh, calculation for parallel also. The only difference is graph you will get something like this. From the minimum value, draw a vertical line such that uh, you, will, uh, you should uh, get uh, the frequency value on the x-axis. And from the same point, draw a horizontal line and uh, you will get the minimum current value. From the minimum current value, here you have to multiply by root 2 and identify that value and from that draw a horizontal line and uh, from uh, such that it should cut uh, the frequency to occur at two positions from the draw vertical line you will get f1 and f2 difference between f1 and f2 you will get uh, the bandwidth and calculate quality factor as well as the unknown inductor value this is uh, one of the model graph which we have plotted and uh, once you calculate the inductor value resonant frequency and the bandwidth Resonant frequency, keep it in kilohertz, inductor value in entry, parity factor it is a ratio of the frequency, so there is no uh, SI unit. Parallel also do the same thing.